Okay, so our focus today is what to do if we are reading something and it just doesn't quite make sense. Because sometimes we might feel so focused on reading words that we start to think, wait, I haven't understood that what I just read. So if we don't understand exactly what we're reading, we need to follow a couple of steps. So I want you guys to look here. It says readers reread, and that's why we have the arrow because it's saying go back. Readers reread to think and understand. So when we have these question marks here, that's when we need to think. Okay? So I want you guys to point to your brain like, hmm, did I really understand that? understand would be the exclamation point saying, aha, I got it. Checking it to make sure it makes sense. And then this is the, wow, I understood. So we say, oh. So if we don't quite understand something, we need to go back. We realize that we need, that we didn't understand it. So we think we check it to make sure it makes sense, and then we can keep going. Oh, so I'm gonna model what that looks like. I brought a story today called The Foolish Tortoise. And this is one of my favorite, favorite illustrators, Eric Carl. Eric Carl did all the pictures. The Foolish Tortoise. The Foolish Tortoise. So boys and girls, as I read, if I have to stop and think, it might be a good idea to go back and read again. If we don't quite understand what's happening, we want to check it out because sometimes we're just reading and we're not actually understanding the words. The Foolish Tortoise. Now I've read that page three times now and I'm starting to think, foolish. Who can help me out with what this word might mean? It's okay if you don't know it because I think this story is going to help us figure it out. But if you think you know what foolish means, can you raise your hand? The foolish tortoise. Bracket, what do you think foolish means? Like, so. like what? I tortoise. Oh, okay. I like that idea. All right. Let's get started with our story. Thanks, Bracket, for helping me out. A tortoise, tired of being slow, impatient to get up and go, took off his large and heavy shell and left it lying where it fell. Hooray, he cried. Now I've been freed. Freed? What does freed mean? I think I need to go back and read that again. Now I've been freed. Okay, so he took his shell off. Oh, so it means like, I'm free, I'm free. Okay. I'll see the world at double speed. Ooh, so he thinks he's going to go faster without his shell. Though faster, he was not express, and his protection was far less. So when he heard a hornet's drone, the tortoise crept beneath a stone. Okay, so I'm looking at this word here, drone. What do you think they're talking about right here when we say a hornet's drone? Who can help me figure that out? Liam, do you have an idea of what they could mean by that? We heard a hornet's drone.
It's okay to say pass if you don't know. Pass. Pass. Okay. So I'm going to use some clues around my words and see if it helps me out. So it says, when he heard a hornet's drone. So I'm guessing that the drone is going to be the noise that the hornet's making. So if you've ever heard a bee buzz by you, it's like, and if you've ever seen one of those drones flying around in the air, it's kind of like the same noise. So I'm glad that I, I reread that to go back and understand it better. A hungry bird came swooping past. He looked so fierce and flew so fast. The tortoise hid behind some trees and felt quite weak behind the knees. So he's hiding. You guys see that? Adrian, do you have a question or comment? No. Okay. I don't feel safe. There's too much risk. If only I could be more brisk. He headed for the riverbed. A fish swam up. The tortoise fled. Fled. Deleza, do you have a question or a comment? No. Okay. If we don't have a question or comment, boys and girls, can you please leave the hand button alone? So keep hand down. So, I'm going to reread that again because even though I read it, I don't think I was paying attention to the words. I think I got a little distracted. And that's okay to go back and read it again. I don't feel safe. There's too much risk. If only I could be more brisk. Brisk is another word for fast. He headed for the riverbed. A fish swam up. The tortoise fled. That means he got away really fast. Along his way, our hero went and almost had an accident. A snake with open jaws slid near. The tortoise backed away in fear. A hare, a hound, a horse raced by. So rapidly, they seemed to fly. The tortoise gasped, sat goggle-eyed. I'll never be that quick, he sighed. So I read the word hair, but it's not spelled like hair. Who thinks they know from these animal choices what the hair is? Who can raise their hand and help me? Bracket, I see you're raising your hand. What's the hair? A hair is a type of bunny. Oh, okay. I'm really glad that you helped me figure that out. So sometimes if there's tricky words on here, we just have to go back and see if we can understand it better. Thanks, Bracket, for your help. So the hair would be the rabbit. He wandered on, the sun rose high. I wish I had more shade, he cried. A sudden thunderstorm swept in and soaked the tortoise to the skin. So the shell can't protect him from the sun, and it can't protect him from the rain. The wind rose up, and soon the breeze was bending branches in the trees. The tortoise shivered. Now I'm cold. I wish I hadn't been so bold. So now hes it's like he's kind of sad because he was trying to be super brave about not having a shell. I think I've lost the urge to roam. I think it's time that I went home. Without my shell, I don't feel right. So when his shell came into sight, he climbed back in and said, Good night. So, oh, then I can read the back. The tortoise takes off his shell so he can move about faster and quickly learns that twice as fast is also twice as scary. So the shell was the tortoise's home. So he felt super alone and scared without his home. Boys and girls, when you are reading this week, I want you to really focus on making sure that when you read, 
you understand what you're reading. If you're just reading to read words and you don't, you can't picture a picture in your head, you can't paint it in your mind, um, you can't explain the story to somebody else, then we're not quite understanding what we're reading. So if there's ever a spot in the story where you are thinking, I don't quite understand that, it's okay to reread it. Discover that it's something new to you. Check to make sure it's correct. And then you can keep on going, okay? So, as you guys read...